This is the only way. It is the only way. Right lads, so Cold War has revolutionized zombies, but I don't think we have fully realized the impact this is going to have on zombies content and DLC because zombies updates are going to be delivered in a way that we've never really experienced before. I can tell you now, the hopes of a transit remake are not completely dead, not yet anyways. And we will come to that conclusion by the end of today, and of course, Die Rise and Buried, these maps not exactly what you would call fan favourite maps, but definitely iconic out of Black Ops 2, and they, they can't get any worse, that's for sure, but they definitely can be massively improved upon. Now let me remind you that Zombies is going to be fully integrated and united into the rest of the game with multiplayer and Warzone, sharing the same weapon levels, ranking system, and of course Battle Pass, which renews each season. So I'm kind of thinking that Zombies is going to follow a, like the content is going to follow a seasonal format or pattern. And if we look back to Modern Warfare, because I'm pretty sure it's going to work, like, almost identically. Identi- what? So if it happens the same as Modern Warfare, then we could see a full six seasons. So six full seasons of Zombies content. Are we expecting to get a new Zombies map every season? Six DLC maps? Zombies DLC has always followed, like literally always for like what, 12 years now, followed this pattern of four DLC maps. So six is a lot more by two. And also it's going to be free, right? I don't know if free DLC, how that really fits into the equation. And also, it's not confirmed, let me just say that now, it's not confirmed that we're going to get six maps, but it does kind of make sense if we're going to follow this pattern. And it all sounds good, right? But I want to say that, in my opinion, when it comes to Zombies maps, it's definitely quality over quantity, and I think Black Ops 4 just goes to show you that. Before Black Ops 4 released, and they were like hyping it up, revealing stuff, I was like, damn man, this game has four maps on day one, how could it possibly fail? So, uh... Yeah, it's definitely all about the quality. And that is where these remakes of Black Ops 2, Transit, Die Rise, and Buried fits in, because as far as we know, these maps have been worked on for literally years, even before Black Ops 4 released. I'm going to point you in the direction of the Transit Diner in Blackout Battle Royale on day one, and then just a few months later, in February 2018, the entire Buried Town was added in, so yeah, it's been worked on for some time, so that would save Treyarch time, so we don't have to, you know, fit in developing more maps in a much shorter amount of time if they've already worked on it. Here is a full list of all the Zombies maps which have either been officially confirmed, rumoured, or teased to be in the game, which does give us two launch maps and five DLC maps. And of course, Zombies Seasons could have other content, I'm hoping, like, you know, events, game modes, boss raids, uh... Yep. Oh, and I guess in that map list you could add the Nacht and Tone Bunker as its own survival map, and Dead Ops Arcade 3. Well damn, I guess we were straight to the point today because I've said everything I want to say and we're three and a half minutes in, so uh, how, how, how's your day going? Good. Nah, but for real, we are still early days. The game hasn't released. I think it's about 22 days now. So as time goes on, we're going to get a more clear picture about other content and other maps. Actually, now that the beta is over, I'm expecting to see three things confirmed. This could be its own video, but we have uh, the Vietnam Zombies map, the ranking system, which of course is involved for zombies, and also the uh, that confrontation weapons pack that you get for pre-ordering. Like, they've said it's a thing, but we don't know what it actually includes. Anyway, fellas, that's all for today, so stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one.